Welcome to Oz Seekers. Ricky here, Michael and Turk. And tonight we are at the Old Melbourne Jail. Let's go exploring. Let's go. This is going to be exciting. So here guys, we're in one of the cells. Every inmate brought to the Melbourne jail is isolated for a time to break their spirit and reform their character. So Michael, one of these was one of the... Well, that's one of the... They put that over you to uh, try to dehumanise you, basically, and break your spirit, as Ricky was saying. And you'd be locked surrounded by these four walls and it's very tiny in here and if you're claustrophobic this will be your worst nightmare. I reckon I'd last about two seconds Ricky. Oh yeah. So we'll go suss out the other ones eh? Yeah, let's have a look at the other cells. So Michael here we are in another little cell and behind us we have a death mask. So Michael? Well yes yeah, so after the execution of an inmate that would um, cast their head or make a, a cast cast of their head. Alright. What about this cell, huh? We check out number seven. Lucky number seven. So yeah. basically I've got my EMF reader here. Um, While you're EMFing, I might do a little spirit boxing that's and it. see if we can pick up some stuff. Yeah, alright. Oh, where are you going? Yeah, don't lock us in. Check out that light flipping. It's really cool in here as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. As opposed to the other. These two. As opposed to the other cells that we've been in. Hey, it's it's really, really, really cool. No, it is. Oh, it is. If there is a spirit present, can you communicate with us? Hi. This is your hi. Can you hear us? Can you give us a name? If there's a spirit present, can you please? Dude, that light's getting stronger. Oh, I just moved! Oh, it's swinging. It's swinging. No way. You getting anything on that anyway? No, nothing at all. Do you want us to leave? Do you want us in here? Are we welcome in this cell? If there is a spirit present, are we welcome in this cell? Can you give us a name? Is it Sam? Can you give us next week's lottery numbers? Seven. You said seven. We're in cell seven. What was that? Get out. Did he say get out? Yeah. If he said get out, we're getting out. <laughs> we'll get to another one. This is one of the um, death masks of Edward Ned Kelly in 1880. Uh, so, this is the notorious cell for Ned Kelly, which is K1. 
Um, basically, yeah, they kept him in here before they actually hanged him just over here on my um, <laughs> my inside. So here we are on the second tier, Michael. Second tier, and this is where they house uh, general population or gen pop, basically. And what we're looking at here is it's also where you will find the gallows, and this might be the spot where they hung Ned Kelly. It might even be the same rope. Maybe. Probably not, but shouldn't have touched that. <laughs> Give you the jokes. But yeah, that's the gallows. That's where the uh, action happened. I'm still got money in there, Freedom or not. Anything? Nothing at all. Yeah, I wonder if I can channel Ned's voice on here. Let's get the spirit box. Ned! Ned. Oh, I just heard Ned. Ned. Oh, I just heard Ned. Is that you, Ned? That was you, Ned. Speak up, say something. Let us know you're here. I think he just swore at me. I swear I heard Ned. So here we are Michael in one of the cells. Um, this is what they call the hangman's box. So these are all the tools that he actually used before he actually hung anybody in the gallows. And basically, yeah, you've got all your ropes and straps. And this is just over here, Turk. A bit of a demonstration of what they used to look like. And then again, yeah, you've got that mask. That yeah. Up, the silence mask. So how come they put that over there? So they wouldn't the... see the executioner's face. Oh. But wouldn't they put it over the executioner's face? He had one as well. Yeah, and they had one as well. Oh. Yeah. So I've got my ear. Probably so you couldn't see the contorted face. Well, you didn't. Because they would have had people in the gallery probably viewing to it. To view it, that's right. Or maybe the victim's family or whatnot. Yeah. Um, so basically, yeah, I've got my EMF ready. Do you want to try No, I just spoke to Ned just before and that, <laughs> that creeped me out. I might just yeah. keep well, the spirit box on. Well, I'm going to keep mine on now anyway and start walking around and see if I can pick up See anything. if you can pick it up? All right. Yeah. So the front of the infamous cell 17. So basically, we're going to give this a crack with our EMF reader. Uh, it's supposed to be haunted. This is supposedly the most haunted cell in the old Melbourne jail, number 17. So. We'll give it a shot. Yeah, we'll see. Certainly isn't tight. If you are in here... I you... just found a dollar. No way. Right in the groove there. Well, there's money. Oh, no, it's not money. <laughs> <laughs> so, my, I've got my EMF reader on here now. Anything? If there's any spirits, make the EMF reader go off. Any spirits in here? I want to turn off my torch, actually. And see if we can get in Let's get this going as well. Are you in here? If there is a spirit present in cell 17, can you hear me? Are you in here? Hello? Can you hear me? Are you. Spirit, if you can hear me, are you male or female? Sound like a woman's voice. So you're female. What's your name? M huh? Can you make the EMF free to go off if you're in here, if you're present? Can you give us a sign that you are present? How did you die? Did you Did you commit any murders? Yes, was that a yes for murders?
How, how many people did you kill? Seven? Everything is seven. So just to let you know guys, I've got my SLS reader just to see if there's any presence within this room. So Michael, we'll go around with this. Just to test it out. Well, you can test it out of me to see if it works. All right, so there's an object in front of me, which is Michael. That works. So see if we can move it around and pick anything up. If you're here, let us know that you're here. Room. Make my EMF free to go off while you're in here. Why? Why won't you leave the room? Why won't you leave the room? Because I like it here. Right in the corner of that window. So old Melbourne jail didn't just house male prisoners, but it also housed female prisoners. And we're in one of the cells that housed the female prisoners and we just had a hit on the EMF here. So we're just keeping an ear out for that. It's sitting on in here. Please make the EMF go off if you're in here. No? No. You gotta be here. No. I'm not getting fucking in. What if I knock and then something knocks back? Can you imagine? Let's try, try it. My hands are here. Ricky's there. Turk's obviously behind the camera. Try again. This is cell number 11. Legs 11. Oh, dead.
Where? 17. Come back and check out. Go and check your thing. Should we do a challenge? It's pretty breezy here. Yeah. Into the window. Make the Ian and Ben free to go off figure in here. Should we do a challenge, Ricky? Oh. Let's see. If... Quite a hit. Are you here? Please say something. We know you're here. If there is a spirit present, speak up. Are you male or female? Stop. It's like trying to watch SBS. Make the EMF go off if you're here. You know what I was going to suggest? The challenge to see how long one of us can stay in a cell on their own, but not in this cell. No. Are you a male or a female? Do you want only one of us to stay in here? Do you want just Ricky to stay in here? And we close the door behind him. Do we leave Michael behind? No. <laughs> Do we leave Ricky behind? That was a yes. Yeah. Follow me. Do you want to follow me? Did you just... Is there two of you? I love you too. Are you here all alone in here? So, so we're back in cell number 17, which is, you know, supposedly the most haunted cell. Do you want to do the cell challenge? One of us stays in here, and we'll close the door behind them, and then you have to just hang out for a little while. I'll do it. Hmm? I'll do it. Same You'll do same. what? Oh. By yourself? Mm-hmm. Alright. Same Let's lock the door. Give them the, the mic. Do you want this as well? Put it on the floor for him. There. So we'll come back in 10 minutes. Oh, you can lock it from there. Can you do that again? Can you light that up again?
Can you tell me your name? Do you want me to leave? No? So this is a blend of old, you know, the original structure and renovated parts as well. So it's a combination of the two. And I think this part of the prison that we're in now was the was the asylum, I think. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, so we're at the asylum side of the, of the prison. We've got more rooms over here. Obviously not Harley Davidson, but so they had the, the cannon too. Oh yeah, look, the toot. Come film the toot. Any spirits present? Oh. We'll keep the sign in this.
please trigger it out in the program. So that was it guys, the good old Melbourne Jail. Um, yeah, there was just so much to see, so many things we did pick up with the EMF reader. Yeah, we definitely detected something going on in some of the cells there and Turk even had a little moment there with the, uh, the spirit world. Yeah. I don't know what was happening there, but anyway, mm -hmm. thanks for watching folks. That was the old Melbourne Jail episode. Yeah. Please remember to subscribe, guys. Hit that notification bell if you want to get notified of our latest episode. And keep watching. We'll yeah. see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers. Hey. That's it. We're staying here tonight, Ricky. Did you bring your PJs? Oh, no. I've got my toothbrush. Yeah. Don't forget to choke your soap. <laughs> From inside, the sun still shines. And the rain falls down But the sun and rain are prisoners too When morning comes around